Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons, and today's problem is the following. Pedigree shows the inheritance of recessive trait, and there is an evidence to the contrary. Assume that the individuals who have married into the family do not carry the recessive allele. What is the chance that the offspring of the following matings will show the trait for 1 and for 2? Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 3, Generation 4. We are looking for the probability for this people if they would marry to have affected child. Where we start? We can start from this family. We see that one of the children affected so has genotype small a small a but parents are phenotypically normal. That means that every parent here is a carrier. And what are the chances that the daughter here would be a carrier too. One parent is heterozygous, another parent is heterozygous. And when we build simple Punnett square, we can find the chances for the daughter to be a carrier. And as you see, chances are not 50% because we know that this female phenotypically normal. So we can exclude this variant and we have now only three variants left. Her probability to be a carrier would be two out of three. Two thirds probability for this female to be a carrier. And now we have to assume that her husband is genotypically normal according to our problem. So what are the chances that the son, the son of this couple, would inherit recessive allele from his mother? From his father's side, this male only can inherit dominant allele, no any other variants. So let's put capital A here. And from mother's side, the male can inherit with equal chances dominant allele or recessive allele. So 50% chances that this person would inherit dominant allele and 50% chances that this male would inherit recessive allele. We are only interested in inheritance of the recessive allele and chances would be one half. So now, as you see, in order to find the probability for this person to inherit this recessive allele, we have to multiply this probability for his mother to be a carrier and probability of his mother to pass this recessive allele to her son. So we have to multiply two thirds by one half. And we will find that uh, probability uh, for this male to be a carrier would be 2 over 6 or 1 third. Now let's find probability for this female to be a carrier. By the way, uh, so this is siblings. This is going to be in the second, gen uh, in the third generation. Uh, this is going to be uh, cousins and this is going to be a marriage uh, consanguineous marriage between second cousins. What we see here, we see here that this female is affected with genetic disorder. We assume that her husband is genetically normal. That means that every child in their family have to be heterozygous because from mother side they can inherit only recessive allele no any other variants and from father side only dominant alleles so we know for sure that all children here are heterozygous 100 percent we know this if this person is heterozygous and her husband is homozygous dominant so her husband only can pass dominant allele to his daughter and mother with equal chances can pass with a dominant allele or recessive allele. 
that means that probability for this female to be heterozygous would be one half, 50%. And 50% chances that she is going to be homozygous dominant. One third is probability for male to be heterozygous. We have to multiply with probability of his wife to be heterozygous, which is one half and if these two people would be both heterozygous the probability to have affected child according to this Punnett square as you see would be one quarter so we have to multiply by one quarter probability that if they would have a child that child would inherit recessive allele from each parent. Here is a sign for a child unspecified sex because uh, this trait uh, inherited regardless of the sex of the child. Now let's multiply all these numbers. So we are going to get uh, 1 over 3 multiplied by 2 is going to be 6 and multiply it by 4 is going to be 24. So 1 over 24. And this is going to be our final answer. If you need an answer in percentage form, you have to divide 1 by 24 and multiply by 100. And this is going to be an answer in percentage form. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.